Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Lollipop's Theater. I'm your host Lollipop081 MLE here today and we are continuing with the AG Historical MP Forever at Hogwarts Project. Oh, this is like, I don't know, like the ninth or 10th episode here. So we're doing Rebecca and her friends and family and originally I wasn't going to do um, every, do six characters here, but other than that, I actually ended up doing them anyways, and I sorted them while I was doing this one. So I'm starting with Rebecca Rubin. She's obviously the first Jewish historical character that was released in 2009, around the time when I joined, well, actually a few months before I joined YouTube, but anyways, with Rebecca, I actually wanted to make her a little bit more glamorous because, well, she wants to be an actress. If you know her story, she wants to be an actress and all that stuff. So that's why I gave her heavy eyeliner right here and all that stuff and some finger waves because she probably started Hogwarts around the 1920s, around that time, maybe a little bit earlier. So her Hogwarts uniform is not only based on the Hogwarts uniform of the 1910s, this time with the skirt is more tartan. And her sweater, like, for a lot of the female characters in this part, I based it off of Rebecca's um, school outfit that was released the same year and was retired in 2015, I believe. So I sorted her into Ravenclaw. And the other thing is, she could have also fit into Slytherin. I would like to see someone sort her into Slytherin. But... I, for me, my personal preference is, like, she's got a blue school outfit. She's a, she's a Ravenclaw to me. So, basically, I went with, like, purple hues and all that. Um, you know, purple hues with this one. And, basically, a lot of them have, like, a city background and all. That's what I did here. And, well, that's a, and she's on top of, like, a building. So, here's Rebecca finished. Next up, we have her older twin sisters, Sadie and Sophie. So obviously I'm doing Sadie here first. And when I was doing them, like, obviously I accidentally made her hand very small. But anyways, with these two, I actually had to reference out of their, you know, their portrait. And, you know, in a lot of the American Girl books, they have like a family and friends section and it shows what they're like everyone looks like and all that stuff so I had to base their look off of their portraits here so like I had to give like their same updo but with like Sophie as you'll see a little bit later um she has like some curls like in the center of her forehead like not the center of her forehead in the center of her um hairline but anyways um you know how, like, the sorting hat always, like, they will sort, even if it's twins, they will, you never know whether twins are going to be in the same Hogwarts house or not. So, basically, with Sadie and Sophie, unlike how I did with Agnes and Agatha, where I sorted those two into Gryffindor, with Sadie and Sophie, I ended up sorting them into two different houses. And you will see in a bit, I sorted... So basically with Sadie, she is the eldest twin and she's like the more... She's kind of more bossy, more ambitious. So I sorted her to Slytherin. And with Sophie, she's more quiet and when she like speaks up, you better listen. I sorted uh, Sody, uh, Sody, <laughs> Sophie into uh, Ravenclaw like Rebecca, but I still gave them like a tartan type skirt representing their Hogwarts houses or whatever. So this is one of those cases where twins are sorted into different Hogwarts houses. Um, like if you think like in the Harry Potter books, um, the twins... Pavati and Padma Patil, they were sorted into Gryffindor and Ravenclaw. Like, one was sorted into Gryffindor and one was sorted into Ravenclaw. But in the films, 
they are sorted into Gryffindor. And I'm like, we could have liked seeing them in two different houses. But really, it is important. One of the biggest things here. Um, and all that stuff. And yeah, you did see this in the behind the scenes live stream that I did. Um, because just a couple months ago. So, but really with this, I actually put them in, like, their home here. Like, probably, like, something a little bit, like, old-fashioned and all that stuff. They're, like, sitting for a portrait or whatever and all that stuff. And they have different color, like, light ones and auras and all that stuff. So, here's Sadie and Sophie completed. And before I continue, all of these pieces are up on my DeviantArt, by the way. And make sure you follow me there. <laughs> Anyways, next is Victor, Ruben, Rebecca's older brother. And basically, um, I also had to reference a little bit here, but I had to like interpret in my own way. And while I was doing this, I almost made him look like um, freaking Tom Riddle. You know, that was Lord Voldemort before he became Lord Voldemort. But he was like handsome back then. If you like... I like I like the actor that played Tom Riddle in the second movie. But anyways, with Victor here, um, he's a little bit more ambitious, although he does pick, sometimes will pick on Rebecca. Come on, they're siblings. But I see a lot of ambition. He's very much ambitious and all that stuff. I ended up sorting him into Slytherin, but he's not like Draco Malfoy a Slytherin, like Eddie Ryland. Um, Victor is more like, he's more, um, badass and something, in, in a fan fiction sort of way. I would, I would like to see them duel. That would be so funny. Like, I, I gotta write a fanfic, though. <laughs> Let me know in the comments, should I write a fanfic with American, with all the AG historical and P4 Ever characters already sorted into their Hogwarts houses? And write a fanfic out of that? Let me know. That would be so interesting. And of course, I gave him, like, he's running through the sidewalks of New York and all that stuff. So here he is completed. And all that stuff. And also very good looking, too. Next up is Anna Rubin. Um, Rebecca's, uh, cousin. They're about the same age. And basically, she does look like Rebecca from the context, from what I, like, read basically not a lot is known about her, her other than she is afraid of everything thanks to her from her older brothers uh she is afraid of everything and she and her family escaped from russia and all that stuff because of the war there and really again like i said anna looks like rebecca a lot so they basically are essentially twins here. But here's the thing here. I did not sort her into Ravenclaw. Or nor did I sort her into Hufflepuff. I sorted her into Gryffindor for this one. Like thanks on thanks thankfully from context clues. You gotta like love context clues and research. So I sorted her into Gryffindor. And it's not like she's like chivalrous and everything. Basically, with um, Anna, um, the reason I sort to her is because she's pretty much like Neville Longbottom. Basically, one of the best characters in Harry Potter. And the funny thing is, he could have been like one of the been the chosen one, but no, he isn't. But basically, Neville did start it out fear being fearful and scared and timid. And then becomes like a uh, brave, becomes badass. If you watch, like, basically, like, um, he um, restarts the DA and all that stuff. And he also slays Nagini with um, Godric Gryffindor's sword, the sword of Gryffindor. And that is amazing. Like, that shows that he is a true Gryffindor and. <laughs> And he, originally he wanted to be sorted into Hufflepuff. So anyways, here's Anna completed. Like, again, city landscape. She's probably in Central Park. And lastly, I actually ended up doing Rebecca's classmate and friend Rose uh, Kernsky 
because there was enough evidence for me to actually do to basically sort her. So with、um, Rose, she was a Russian immigrant. Her, her and her family came from Russia as well, and she had a different name, and she had to change it to Rose. It was originally Rith, Rith,、uh, Rithka, I think it was, from my research, and she is known for like giving like very good advice, kind of, like kind of like a very good friend. She's very courageous and wise, but I see her as like a very nice girl and all that stuff. So I sorted her to Hufflepuff here, and while doing her, I ended up getting like, um, Beauty and the Beast vibes. Because of her sweater, but again, <laughs> oh my gosh, I and she basically almost looks like Belle here. But honestly, I went with it. It's okay. Come on, it's fine. So basically, unlike everyone else, I actually put her on Coney, the beaches of Coney Island, as you can see. And as we conclude this, please subscribe to my channel and follow me on social media, Twitter. Instagram, DeviantArt, Reddit, all that great stuff, and also request some songs for Lollipop Sings as well, as well as for Lollipop Speed Art. Everything's on DeviantArt as well, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.